What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. Um, you guys have shown so much love and so much support on my last couple of videos, so I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I definitely want to do a giveaway uh, during Christmas time, so stick around for that. It's going to be really interesting. If you guys want to stay on top of that, follow me on my Instagram at Kingtons Pro. All right, guys. So in this video, this is going to be a little bit different of a video in terms of like, you know, music videos that I do and transitions and stuff. This is going to be a little bit more on the animated side. This pack or plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 is honestly really cool because they're all pre-animated for you. You don't have to do any actual animation at all. So no skill is required for animation. Uh, now there is a special offer going on right now. I will have it linked down in the description of this video where you guys can check it out. So you guys get 70% off. That is actually insane. So be sure to try it out. Um, if you guys want to try it out before you even buy it, there is an actual sample here. So you can try out the sample pack. All you gotta do is click the download sample button and this will allow you to download uh, just a, a sample of the pack so you can try it out and see if you like it or not. So guys, so once you download the pack, it's going to appear as a scribbly folder. All you gotta do is open this one up and you're gonna have a couple of files. You're gonna have the chalk uh, like audio, so like a chalkboard. Uh, so if I enable this. You have that one. You also have um, like a marker uh, sound effect. So if I go ahead and push play, you can hear what that sounds like. And then you have paper audio. And here we have the manual if you want to learn how to install this. This is version 1.0. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to be doing some updates later on. So just stick around with their website and stuff uh, if you really want to stay on top of that. You can either copy or move it. So you can press command C. Click on the go and go to the home where you have this here. Anyway, so you're gonna go into the movies folder and you're gonna go into, as you can see, I already have this one in there, but um, we're gonna go into motion templates. You can drag it in this way. Another way is by going into applications and going into Final Cut Pro, right click and go to show package contents, open the contents folder, go into plugins, go into the media providers folder, go into motion effects, contents, and then you wanna go into the Mac o, or sorry, not Mac OS. We're gonna go into the resources folder and, and then we're gonna go into the templates folder and then we're gonna go into the generous uh, folder and then here you can see that I've already pasted the scribbly uh, folder. So if I open up the folder, you're gonna see all of the generators are within this folder and now we can jump into Final Cut and get started. All right guys, so once you're at this point, this is what I've created here, very, very simple, and I'll show you what I've done. So if I push play, it's just a very, very rough little animation, nothing too crazy. I just wanna show you how the plugin and the pack works. And then you guys can experiment with so many different things. You can watch some YouTube videos on how some like scribble or whiteboard effects are uh, created. Now, this is not really meant to be fully animated, of course. They're more still images. However, you can really, you know, bring something a little bit more to life instead of it just being, just being so still. This one I just created kind of like um, this girl on her phone. Maybe she's reading a text message and you're trying to maybe describe that or show that um, as you're talking just so it's not completely like a boring video or whatever. So this is just another uh, alternative to that. So if I push play, you have something like that. Very, very simple. Of course, you would add more stuff to this. You would add like, you know, some music in the background or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to show you how I've done this. I'm going to delete everything and show you how to do it. So first things first, you want to drag some type of background image, whatever that may be. Uh, it can be a video like a something like this, which is like an aesthetic video. If I drag this into the timeline and to disable the audio, link will be in the description if you want to download this. I know a lot of women, a lot of girls like having this like aesthetic kind of vibe, and that's really cool. You can use that. So if I push play, you can see this going on here. You can add this as a background. And we have another um, area where we can use, which is like this one here. So I'm going to delete that though for now, and then just use these still images that I downloaded from freepick.com, not sponsored by them. So this video is sponsored by Polar Picks. A link will be in the description. However, this is a still image. I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So what I want to do is I want to go into the titles and generators. This is where you will actually find the all the pre-animated um, animations. So what we're going to do is want to go into the scribbly uh, generators tab and we can go and just quickly go through the uh, categories. So we have babies, and we also have one for a girl. Um, we have a background of a building or a home of some kind if you wanted to do that. Uh, so we have boy, we have a pose one, we have like pose two, 
different poses if you're trying to describe something. Uh, we have a businessman, um, pretty cool. Uh, if we go down, we have business businessman set too, so a different set. We have businesswoman, kind of nice. Um, again, different poses, different actions. If you're trying to describe a certain action, you can find them here. Uh, we have a casual lady, pretty cool. This is the one that I use, so I'm going to click and drag this already into the timeline. And as you drag it into the timeline, you can position this anywhere we want. And if I push play from the very beginning here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push play in the beginning and you're gonna see that she's being animated. Now there is like a little fill. If you don't like that or you don't even like the hand, you can change that. So um, again, I'm gonna quickly go through these again really quickly though for you. So we have a casual man, uh, again, different poses, different actions. And we have a custom set where you can add your own images or videos. And then you can do like family here with the car. So we have text here. You can do text as well, which is pretty cool. Go into the publish parameters and you're going to have a couple of settings here. So we have main position where you can actually control the X and Y. You can control this left and right. Uh, if we go into the Y axis, this will control up and down. So I'm going to move this girl to the right here, over here. Here we have the main rotation. If you click on the down arrows, you have more properties that you can change. So we have X, you can change the X axis on the rotation. You can change it on the Y axis and you can change it on the Z axis. So we have main scale. Uh, the main scale will allow you to scale the animation up or down and it stays within where it's going to continue off, which is pretty interesting. So I'm going to scale it. I mean, relatively big around there. Well, maybe not that big, maybe like here. Uh, I mean, I kind of want the perspective to be correct as well. So I'm going to move her closer to the camera. And then here we have hand. So we have hand one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each hand has a slightly different skin tone. So if you're trying to match your skin tone to whatever the categories are within here, you can do that as well. And there's also for, you know, the two uh, different uh, gender. So we have like uh, women, men, you can choose these. So we have hand seven. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to do hand seven. We have line colors. So you can change the line color of this here. If you don't like it black, you can just drag the slider to the left to increase the brightness, I suppose, or saturation. So we're going to drag this and you can change the color. As you can see, it changes in real time, which is really, really cool. Now you can remap the white. So if you click on this button, you can change this to like red or something and you can do black or whatever color you want. What I want to do is I want to, if I push play, you're going to see that it's animated really slow. It animates for how long the, depending on how long the actual length of the clip is. So if it's really long, it's going to take a long time to finish the animation. But if we drag it to the left, closer to, to the, where it, you know, to, to the beginning, it's going to be a lot of a quicker animation, as you can see. So that's kind of nice. Um, no cutting or anything like that is going to be necessary. So that saves you even more time. Uh, so once you're there, uh, we can, of course, change this. I'm actually going to change it back to black. Again, you can change the, the white to a different color, as you can see. Anyway, so once you have your color and everything selected the way you want it, then we can add our another uh, generator. And here it is, custom set. You can do a rectangle, you can do a silhouette, or you can do this one if it's like more of a human uh, shape or you can do a square. So for the purpose of this one, I'm going to be showing like a message, an iMessage screenshot. So I'm going to do rectangle one. I'm going to drag it around maybe a couple of seconds inwards a little bit and shrink this down. It's very, very long. Okay. And from there, I'm going to then, you know, import the actual screenshot, which is this one. I just pulled it off of Google. I don't know what it even says, but so uh, we're going to select the top clip and we're going to click on under the drop zone. So you can select an image or a video. Click on the picture or video within the project settings here or properties and click on apply clip. And now this applies it to this and you can see that it's animated, which is really, really cool. So if we go back to the parameters, we can change all of the settings within this one too. So we can change the main position, X and Y. I'm going to make this smaller. So we're going to drag this to the left. And there you can again change the hand. You don't have to have a hand at all if you don't want to. Personally, I think I'm not going to because there's already two hands. So I'm going to disable it so you can see that it looks like this. Pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, you can change the inner scale and position of this. So you can do X and Y. The X axis will control the left and right and the Y axis will control up and down. So we can change the scale, the inner scale of this, drag it down a little bit and we can change the position of this. So we're going to drag it around here. I mean, I think that looks pretty good right there. So once you're there, if you push play, you have this, which looks pretty cool. And let's say you want to create something a little bit more interesting. 
uh, not a problem. We can add a couple of keyframes. So for for pose two, which is the the girl here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a keyframe once it stops the animation around here. I'm gonna go into the parameters. I'm gonna add a keyframe next to main position. I'm gonna go a couple of frames to the right and maybe a little left here like that. And then we can move the y the x axis a little closer to the whatever you have here. And again, you can be really creative with this. I'm gonna push play. And it's gonna look something like this. If you want to finish this off, you're gonna right click and either go into the transitions and add like a dissolve or another quick way is to select both of them, press command T and delete the beginning ones. And then you have this little animation. You can do that to the, to the bottom clip as well. Before I do that though, I wanna add the marker effect or sound effect. So I'm gonna drag this below this one where it starts and each one has slightly different sound effects. So if I push play, so you're gonna have to cut these. So what you do is uh, scroll to uh, the beginning here and find an, a, a scribble effect that you like, which is here. I'm gonna delete the rest. If I push play, and then for this one, you can add another one there, but I think that'll be a little bit too busy. And we're gonna add a text one here. So I'm gonna drag this one and I'm actually gonna move it on this one. Yeah, why not? So once this is here, I'm going to re adjust the length of the clip here and I'm gonna change what it says here polar picks <laughs> why not right I'm not a big fan of black text so we're gonna change this to white and you can add the hand there as well so as you can see though the hand is not correct so we're gonna have to change the position of this and it's very very easy so what we're gonna do is change the hand though for a woman's hand I think it starts there so we're gonna move the text all the way to the left I'm gonna go one frame so you kind of have to kind of position this to where it might look pretty good so maybe around here and I know this looks kind of a, a bad job for this example but you guys are getting the point of how to use this so anyway so that's pretty much the pack it's very simple pretty straightforward nothing too crazy now if you guys want to try out the sample I'll leave it down in the description but again there is a 70% discount going on so I really suggest you guys uh, take advantage of that yeah so if you guys found this video helpful at all or just for your next project let me know down in the comment section below and i will catch you on my next video peace out